the most haunted places on earth, the Waverly Hills Sanatorium. It is believed that as many as 63,000 patients have died inside those walls. Most of them were mistreated and had experiment procedures conducted on them. People have reported to see ghosts in there, also heard screams from different rooms, and all of them have seen the same boy only known as Tim. Could be the ghost of a kid that they done experiments on. Would you visit this place? The strange case of Mercy Brown, the last vampire of New England. In Exeter, Rhode Island, you will find the grave of the last vampire, Mercy Brown, among her family plot. George and Mary Brown's family were struck with a mysterious illness, which was most likely tuberculosis. Mary was the first to pass from the illness, followed by their daughter, Mary, and finally Mercy. Lastly, their son Edwin contracted the same disease, and seeking answers, the village turned to blaming one of the deceased family members of vampirism. It gets stranger. On March 17, 1892, the villagers, the doctor, and a news reporter exhumed both Mary and her daughter Mary. Their findings? Two significantly decomposed bodies. So how did Mercy become the famed last vampire? When she was disinterred, she was found with little decomposition and still had blood in her heart. It pointed to the obvious rational conclusion that she was a vampire. In a bizarre finale, they removed her heart and liver to burn and used the ashes to create a tonic which Edwin drank. Okay, go. Hello all, this is Jeremy Senna live from Albuquerque. We're here at Haunted Hill on Montgomery Boulevard. It's at the end and it's located at the base of the Sandias. So legend has it that there was an old man that used to live on that hill. And what happened was they actually used to take prostitutes up there and beat them, kill them. To this day, you can still hear the eerie sounds of him dragging the bodies across the ground. How creepy is that? So stay safe, everybody. Hike. Make sure you have water. Well, make sure to visit Albuquerque. We have a beautiful city here. Of course, visit when the pandemic is over. We have culture, history, music, local artists, talented people, individuals. Hey, grow business here. Support local businesses. Heck yeah. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Top five most haunted places in California. Coming in at number five, we have the Whaley House, which is said to be one of the most haunted places in San Diego, California. It pretty much guarantees that when you go there, you will see something paranormal. They say that Thomas Whaley's daughter committed a very, very violent suicide in that house and pretty much haunts the premises. I'd go at your own regard. At number four, we have the Wonderland House, located in Los Angeles, California. It is where an extremely gruesome homicide actually took place in the 1980s. Four people were murdered in that house. And every time people stay there, they say that they feel people just all around them the whole time. Fuck that. At number three, we have the old zoo at Griffin Park, also located in Los Angeles, California. Before it was a zoo, it was actually a ranch, owned by someone in 1863. The old landowner actually committed suicide on this property, and the animals are said to be crying all the time at weird hours of the night very, very depressingly. Next, we have the Bay Bridge located in San Francisco, California. They are said to have a ton of spirits throughout this whole entire bridge. At number one, we have the Entity House located in Los Angeles, California. They are said to have three different spirits in there that are very, very demonic. I would definitely stay away. Hit the plus sign, like, and follow me on Instagram for more. This is Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Opened in 1829, became a national landmark in 1965, closed in 1971. Al Capone spent some time here. The movie 12 Monkeys was filmed here and the music video for the Dead Milkman's Punk Rock Girl was also filmed here. Many railway station, Padok Station Tunnel 33, Chittur Railway Station, Begun Kodar Station. This is the Connecticut Valley Hospital Cemetery in Middletown, Connecticut. This cemetery unfortunately attests to the undignified treatment of neurodiverse patients in early medicine that continued into modern times. None of the markers are distinguished by names or birth dates of those buried here and instead only bear numbers. The Connecticut General Hospital for the Insane was founded in 1868 and recorded its first burial on this property in 1878, with the final burial occurring in 1957. The hospital itself has been documented as overcrowded since its inception. A total of 1,681 people were recorded to be buried here and left nameless. Years later, a memorial was added as well as an index to identify the monuments thanks to the hard work of advocates. Would you burn your dead family if you thought they were vampires? 
This is the true and strange case of the Jewett City vampires. Much like Mercy Brown, a family plagued with illness during the 1840s and 1850s pointed fingers at their deceased kin. After the third son in the Ray family, Henry Nelson Ray, fell ill in 1854, the family took action by exhuming the bodies of his father and two brothers and set them ablaze. The monuments still stand in the Jewett City Cemetery in Griswold, Connecticut. Did the body bonfire work and banish the vampiric plague? You can find the answer on Henry's monument with his year of demise marked 1854. The most haunted places from every state, Mackinac Island in Michigan. Mackinac Island was the site of two major battles during the War of 1812 and a host of other violent events. And because of such, it has a slew of paranormal activity. One notably haunted spot is the Drowning Pool, where a witch hunt occurred in the 1700s and even in the early 1800s. Seven women were accused of being witches and they had rocks tied to their feet and they were thrown into the lake. And if they drowned, they were innocent. Whichever state gets the most likes, I'll do tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys, new YouTube video is up so if you like to give, give a like. Thanks for watching Brody, DM me on Insta to be tomorrow's shout out. Boost me! More scary stuff here, and do this for a shout out.